Alliant Energy Corporation and its Iowa subsidiary, Interstate Power and Light, have proposed a 660 megawatt coal-fired power plant to be located in Marshalltown, Iowa. My name is Tom Sanzello, and I am testifying before the Iowa Utilities Board on behalf of the Iowa Environmental Council, the Iowa Farmers Union, the Iowa Physicians for Social Responsibility, Iowa Renewable Energy Association, and Community Energy Solutions, a coalition of environmental, community, and business organizations that are opposed to this plant. Interstate Power and Lights application for a coal-fired power plant in Iowa is based on a number of unsupported assumptions. For example, the company asserts that energy demand in Iowa is increasing in a manner that requires an additional 40 megawatts of electricity in each year through 2013. It's an annual average increase of 1.4 percent. IPL contends that if the plant is not built, it will have a net deficit of electricity of 175 megawatts by 2013. IPL has failed to support these assumptions. In fact, my review of IPL's technical presentation leads to the conclusion that by 2013, IPL will have a surplus of electrical capacity of almost 200 megawatts, not a deficit. In short, a new 660 megawatt coal-fired power plant in Marshalltown at this time is unnecessary. So why are there two such different versions of the facts here? IPL bases its assumption on a model that estimates how much electricity will be needed in the future. It then plugs those numbers into another model that assesses how much electricity the company has to provide for its customers. Taken together, the company then decides on its long-term plan to meet the needs of its customers. In response to questions, IPL provided information during the course of this proceeding that shows actual energy usage is considerably lower than their estimates, yet it is these estimates that are the basis of the application. In my testimony, I use IPL's model and adjust the estimates by using the most recently available actual electricity usage. Based on these adjustments, IPL will have a surplus of electricity in 2013, not a deficit. In fact, since 2005, IPL has reduced its claim regarding electricity usage in Iowa by 20 percent. In, in 2005, the company projected an average annual increase of 50 megawatts. In 2007, in its most recent application to the Iowa Utilities Board, the company has adjusted the number downward to 40 megawatts per year. Yet even this level of electricity usage is not supported by the evidence in the record. My review of company records finds that Alliant is actually projecting an annual average increase of about 1 percent, not 1.4 percent, as stated in their application to the Iowa Utility Board. In addition, when I reviewed the actual electricity usage of Alliant's customer base since the year 2000, there has been an average annual increase in electricity of less than 1 percent, again, not the 1.4 percent presented in the application. These fractions make all the difference when applied to the forecasting model and when determining whether or not a new power plant is needed. When professionals review a forecast model, they conduct tests to make sure that their conclusions are consistent with other relevant factors that are part of the overall picture. This is called a sensitivity test. And, and in each instance, I perform these tests, and I found no support for a new power plant. It just does not make economic sense. Consider these facts. IPL's sale of electricity in Iowa over the past few years has been flat or declined. Data released since my testimony has been prepared and filed shows IPL's revenues for the sale of electricity declined for the third quarter of 2007 compared to 2006. And for the three quarters ending September uh, 2007, revenues are down in comparison to the same time in 2006. Had actual revenue from electricity sales been increasing due to greater usage, there might be an argument for a new power plant. In addition, Iowa's overall population projections are flat between now and 2030. If the residential population was increasing, one could assume there would be more consumers turning on the lights and hence the need for a new power plant might be apparent. Iowa's economy for the past few years and projected into the future will expand at a rate below the national average. Critical sectors of the Iowa economy, like manufacturing, are expected to decline over the next few years. The manufacturing sector is 20 percent of Iowa's economy, but it is 50 percent of the electricity provided by IPL. 
had there been evidence that existing manufacturers would be increasing output or that new industrial plants would be opening, this would have supported the argument for a new plant. The most recent economic forecast offered by the Institute of Economic Research out of the University of Iowa anticipates no employment growth in 2008, an actual decline in the manufacturing area. The university proje projections are not a mere academic exercise. These projections are used by the government of the state of Iowa to assist with the preparation of the state budget. This plant is being proposed at a time when 150 coal-fired plants are being proposed around the nation. When the country was faced with pressure to build new power plants in the 1970s, communities built too much too fast. Investors, consumers, and the federal government were ultimately saddled with the cost of plants that were not used. Plants that were built based on the hope of economic growth that did not materialize actually hurt local economic development efforts. Instead of a power plant being evidence of a strong, growing local economy, unnecessary plants became billion-dollar monuments to poor planning and a weak economy. In summary, IPL is requesting permission to build a plant that is unnecessary. The technical presentation made by the company is unsupported. The company's financial filings are showing declining or flat revenues. The state's actual economic conditions do not support the need for a new power plant. Construction costs for the plant are rising rapidly, the operating climate for the plant is in flux, and communities across the country who are facing the same problem are delaying or canceling new fire coal plants. The Iowa Utility Board should reject this application. It is the wrong project proposed at the wrong time and for the wrong reasons.